All right, we have Andre Arasal, Coach Eric Bovard, and Bill Owen. Coach, why don't you give us an assessment of the game from your perspective? Well, for, oh, scared me. Um, first off, um, I want to give credit to Academy of Art. You know, there was a point in the season where they could have, um, you know, they could have folded up the tents and quit, and they grinded it out, and they got themselves into the playoffs. They're a tough team. We've we've always had battles with them. You know, no matter where they're at in the standings or where we're at, we always have battles with them. And um, give them credit. They, you know, they've done a great job. They they battled us tonight, especially on the rebound. We're a good rebounding team, and they took it to us. I mean, they had 12 offensive rebounds in the first half and 18 for the game. Um, and we're a good rebounding team. We I think we're second in the league in a lot of categories in in rebounding. And um, you know, so I give them credit along those lines. And you know, they, we're the type of team that if you if you take away drives, it opens up stuff on the perimeter, and guys did a great job of finding open people and knocking down shots. It was, I know we had a bunch of threes tonight, but guys made good decisions. Let's get the players' perspective on what happened at the end of the first half and then the run at the early second half when you opened up a very close game and suddenly it was 20 points. Each of the players. Um. <clears throat> When we went to the locker room, we so Academy is a scrappy team, so we knew that if we weren't going to attack the offensive rebounds and protect our defensive rebounds, that they had a chance in the game. So one of the things Coach preached in the locker room was <clears throat> just make sure you box your man out, and then the you know, offense will take care of itself. But we had to take care of the defense, and because at the end of the day, that's where we hang our head. <clears throat> um, as what Bill and Coach said, like Academy is such an unpredictable team, and us being good rebounders, we knew that they were going to come out and out-rebound us and know that they were going to hit us and box us out. And I think they had like 10 or 12 offensive rebounds to come into the first half and going into the second. So that was a huge emphasis. Throughout the game, even in the first half, we were saying we got to hit bodies. And um, coming out into the second half, we really had to clamp down and make that an emphasis. And lucky enough, we were good enough to come out and do that. And that's what gave us that big stretch towards the end and leading us into the win. Hi, I'm uh, Joseph DiPolito, and I represent the Honolulu Star Advertiser. Um, Tyler has been out for a couple of weeks, so what has have you and the rest of the team done? What kind of adjustments have you made either on the court or in your mind to compensate for his absence? Well, first off, we had to, we had to make a lot of adjustments. Tyler was a huge part of our team. You know, I'm a little bit biased, but I think he was he's the best player in the league, <laughs> you know. Um, so we, you know, I, I challenge the guys, we all know, these guys, we all love Tyler and he does, he did so much for us that um, we needed guys to step up, you know, a guy like him, you know, didn't start the majority of the year and next thing you know he's thrown in the starting lineup and we need you to produce, not only guard, but offense, you know, do all these things. So everybody needed to pick up their game a little bit. I mean, we, we had 22 points off the board whenever you know since he's been hurt and plus he does so many other things for us he rebounds defends so you know we we try to be next man up you know unfortunately we wish we had Tyler but guys you know guys really have been stepping up lately do you do we, um, either of the either of you uh, want to add on to that yeah um Tyler's the best player in this league and is like one of the best in the country and a lot of us believe that and but the good thing about Tyler that even though he isn't on the floor he does a lot off the floor so he has been here all four years five years and he talks to us he doesn't just make he doesn't he didn't go absent like he made sure to prep talk us he gives us tips when we come off he still be the leader that he was on the court off the court and that's something you have to emphasize and he's a great person great player and it, it hurts that he's out because he gave us a lot of our points and did a lot on the offensive end and defensive. So, But now his role model and his kind of footsteps, we've all taken that and we've learned from him and we've just been able to step up and fill in for him. So, yeah. The way you played tonight, is that typical of how you've played for most of the season, especially uh, with Tyler out? Do you want them or me? Anyone. 
Well, it, it, like I said, it varies night to night. But one thing we could always count on is if Tyler gets the ball, they're going to have to do something because very, you know, most people can't guard him one on one. And sometimes they would stay locked up on the shooters and force him to make, you know, difficult shots, which he usually be made at a high percentage. But we could always count on, oh, Tyler got the ball. Something's going to happen right now. So now we don't, you know, we don't necessarily have that. So guys are, you know, taking advantage of the roles now. Like, hey, I need to make something happen. I mean, we had two shot clock violations tonight. I don't, we haven't had two all year, have we? You know, usually we're attacking and making decisions quickly. You know, if Tyler gets that third or fourth pass, you, we know he's going to the hoop or shooting, you know. So it, there is an adjustment. There is definitely. Now, um, oh great, I just lost my train of thought. <clears throat> I do that all the time. <laughs> <laughs> you could be a men's basketball coach now. <laughs> <laughs> Most of the time I'm like, is it our ball? <laughs> uh, time out. I forgot it was ball. <laughs> okay, I just remembered. Uh, since you split with uh, Academy of Art, each one at home, what was the biggest, what were the biggest things that you learned from those past games that you could apply tonight? And this is for, again, anyone, players or... Well... I, I know well, they they know the answer to it too. But the first time we played them, it, I don't know. It's the curse of the first game after Christmas break. We never play well, and that's my fault. I don't get the I don't know. I don't get these guys ready to play that first game after Christmas break. You eat too much turkey. <laughs> well, what's the deal? Um, but we came out very sluggish, you know, versus them the first time, and then they took it to us, rebounding, you know. Beating our, beating our press and scoring, and we made the adjustment the second time we played them. We we were playing all out. You know, we forced a ton of turnovers first. Then our activity, our running was way up, and we showed them the film of that and see the difference of here's how you win, this is how you lose. <laughs> so, you know, hope they they took uh, notes from it. And it takes a, it takes a lot of effort effort and energy to play our style, and if you don't, then you can pay the price for it. All right. Good job, Coach. Thanks, guys. Thank we'll you. We'll see you Thank tomorrow. You.